With a flood of new cryptos hitting the markets every week, I have decided to help out by creating a weekly top 5 cryptos to hit the markets list. Let's check out the last week of new listings. In the past 7 days, 16 new cryptocurrencies have hit the markets and here is my top 5. I chose this list based on awesome, fresh, next generation ideas led by great teams and projects that will increase adoption of crypto in general or utilize blockchain to benefit people and business directly. Number 5. I don't know how to pronounce this project so I will call this PickChain for short. I didn't pick the project for its name, that's for sure. The big buzz with blockchain is the ability to put people in control of their own data. PickChain enables the collection certification and exchange of personal data. It protects the individual's data while making data acquisition and management easy for businesses. PickChain is providing the world's first monetized personal data marketplace and is revolutionary in its concept and idea. The PKC token will be needed to access the marketplace of human data. PickChain raised $12 million in their ICO, which had a price of $0.34 cents USD per PKC token, according to ICO Bench. The PKC token is currently trading at $0.21 cents and is trading on the Switch EO network, which is linked to below. Number 4. Traxia. This technology is built off the Cardano platform, and if you didn't know what to look for, it could be easily overlooked. Invoices on any given day are worth about $43 trillion. The legacy banking system only finances 7% of these short-term assets, and the system to do so is, well, legacy. Bring in the blockchain and smart contracts to free up this resting capital and put it to work globally, and you have Traxia. The TMT token is needed to access this wonderful and awaiting and massive market as a buyer, seller, provider of liquidity, an issuing provider, an investor, or listing provider. This could actually be really, really big depending on how deeply they can access the $43 trillion market. Partnering with Quark, a top 50 Chinese fintech company, is not a bad start. The ICO raised around $15 million with an ICO price, according to ICO Bench, of $0.06. Cents. TMT is currently trading at $0.3.6 cents. It's trading at the highest volume on Hotbit. A link to this exchange is below. Number 3. SalPay provides service in the Philippines. It is an already functioning app that is called Sally, who looks a lot like a personal financial advising AI. A platform that serves as a super app for all your banking needs. Included is a much needed cross-border money sending solution for Filipino migrant workers. And a MasterCard paired cash card that is connected to your e-wallet and app, which all acts as a payment gateway. This platform looks like it's taking crypto user interface to the next level and keeping the crypto bling bling out of the equation, probably as to not confuse their customers. It's hard to tell, but I'm assuming that the SAL token is needed to gain access to the app's many services. The ICO raised over $12 million selling SAL tokens according to their own ICO page for $0.40 cents each. The SAL token is currently trading at just $0.8.6, cents, which is a major crash from ICO prices. Can it possibly go lower? Maybe, maybe not. If you ICO'd this with MasterCard involved in this project, I wouldn't worry, just hodl. The SAL token is currently trading on Cryptos. The link is below. Number 2. Seek VR. Bringing live music right to your VR headset, Seek VR is decentralizing concerts in time and space. The Seek ERC20 token is really quite useful, allowing users to access virtual merchandise, create celebrity tokens, to see a concert in VR, and even accessing already existing virtual venues. What stands out is the proof-of-stake-based blockchain congress style of decentralized decision-making. Seek VR is also very, very well connected in the entertainment industry. Their ICO raised a tidy $17.3 million. According to ICO Bench, tokens sold in a range of 15 to 50 cents USD during crowdfunding efforts. Taking a look at the market price, Seek tokens are trading for a mere 4.5 cents, well below the ICO price, possibly indicating a nice chance to get in at a good price. 
The estimated market cap is probably about $45 million or even less. Due to Seek's significant placement in the live music industry, this market cap is highly undervalued in the long term. Seek is now trading on the following exchanges, Bancor and IDEX. Links to these are below. Number 1. Shivom. Now this takes banking on your data to the next level, where the Shivom project will allow regular humans to enter their genome into a database and then make money off research companies accessing your genome for research purposes. The project also aims to make genomic-based healthcare far more accessible to everyone worldwide. This idea is awesome and I can't wait to sequence myself as soon as possible. I'm sure Decentro's DNA is worth something and so might be yours. Of course, I wouldn't think about doing such a thing pre-blockchain, but with blockchain security and privacy, it should be sweet as. There's much, much more to this project, so check it out in the links below. According to the white paper, there are a whole whack of reasons to buy and use the OMX token for both people and organizations. The ICO raised a pretty huge 35 mil, but the token price is hard to determine because it was priced in Ethereum. Looking back at an average Ethereum price over the time of the ICO gives a price of about 6.8 cents per OMX token. Currently trading at 2.5 cents, Shivom has not been immune to the crypto smashing that has occurred this week. ICO contributors are probably a bit sad with the rest of the crypto world, but this is for sure one to hodl, as it will break open genomic-based healthcare worldwide, which is a huge service to humanity and will thus gain major adoption. OMX tokens are now trading on KuCoin and a link to this exchange is below. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe so you can get in on our latest coverage of the best blockchain technology has to offer.